Now, when hail falls from the sky, it usually signals trouble or damage to cars, rooftops and crops. But for scientists, hailstones are more than just destructive ice balls. They are nature's frozen time capsules. Now, a team of researchers in the American Southwest is going deep inside these icy spheres to uncover what they carry and how they form. A group of researchers from across the country is chasing these hailstorms. They are part of the project Ice Chip. Armed with measuring tools, coolers, and a lot of dry ice, the team collects 4,000 of hailstones before they melt away. Now, from storm, a storm to sample, it's a race against time. Researchers pick up each hailstone carefully, often in the pouring rain, and immediately begin collecting data. Once measured, many hailstones are driven across state lines, sometimes for hours, packed in dry ice and kept frozen until they reach the lab. Some hailstones will actually be saved in a cooler and not crushed, and they will go to NCAR's cold lab, where we will basically pass them through a hot wire bandsaw, and we will cut them in half, and we will look at all the different tree rings inside of the hailstone to learn about all these different growth regimes that are happening, sort of learning information about what the hailstone was doing when it was in the storm. The past research has revealed that hailstones can contain more than just frozen water. Scientists have found suppressing substances frozen inside, including fungi, bacteria, bits of peat moss, and even microplastics. And most of the pristine hailstones gathered by the ice ship team are sent to a coal lab in Colorado. Their months of ana ana analysis will unfold scientists meticulously cataloging what's in each layer, what each sample contains, and how different types of storms might influence their structure. Crushing. Oh. There we go.